I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. And we're just about ready to open things up. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Kirk, one of the top backs in the country we get a chance to see today. Hills, big playability, makes him a threat to score really anytime he touches. I love this guy. And let's not forget about his big offensive line. This is a group that really prides themselves in opening up some huge holes for him. It's also going to be difficult to stop him and keep him out of the end zone because you think about it, he's known for his big plays, the home run ability. So if you can limit those big plays, you got a shot at least at slowing him down. And he gets the ball 25, 30 times a game, and he'll probably get that again today. Throws to the back. Oh, he dropped it. From their own 25-yard line. Third down. Gets it out. He's met immediately. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. This is the kind of solid, consistent play you look for in your defense. Let's see if the offense can follow it up. Moore is back awaiting the punt. Good job by the defense to force a punt on the first series. I'm sure the fans are thrilled to see their guys come up with an early stop in this game. Let's see if the offense can give them something else to get excited about now. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Grabs it and hammered right there. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Tackle made at the 29. He's a big target that the quarterback can rely on. That's a smart play looking to him to get the first. And they hit him in the backfield. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 31 yard line. Second down. Scrambling around. They bring him down. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He gets hit out of bounds at the 30-yard line. If something had been open downfield, they might have taken a shot. But all the defense gave them was the short yardage play. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Ole Miss could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Ole Miss has really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. Throws into coverage, just picked off. For the 20, for the 10. Touchdown, Old Miss. And he hits 
the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Rebels have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. Throws complete, he's got room to work. You've got to play with that kind of purpose to move the ball against this defense. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 39-yard line, second down. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. A five-yard gain. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Dane awaits the snap. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's get some points going right now. Not a lot of offense here in the opening quarter. I'm with you. I'd like to see a lot more offense than we've seen up to this point. Give credit to the defenses, but I think you're going to see both these offense coordinators get more of a feel for things and start to adjust their play call. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Handoff to the right. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Got a man. Watch out here. He's pushed out of bounds around the 29-yard line. Makes it out to about the 40. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Tackle after a decent pickup. He has some room, and he carries the ball for a nice game. So the option keeper will get him a first down. It's a very well-executed option play. The blocking was there, and the quarterback made the correct decision to keep it himself and get the first down. Up the middle for a nice game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Five yard line. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone by him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. They'll line it up again on third down. Quick throw. They'll bring him down right around the 42-yard line. That brings up fourth and three. He gets it up, and it's long enough. No good. He missed it to the left.
They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Quick throw to the back, it's incomplete. From their own 42 yard line, second down. Make the stop at the 42-yard line. A long ways yet to go, but at the end of one, the Rebels with a 10-point lead. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Makes the catch and look out. And they push him out around the 38-yard line. Four yards. Roger, Roger. That makes it second and six. six. Quick strike to the receiver. And he is drilled at the 36-yard line. hit before he can go anywhere. Richardson with the tackle at the 27-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Fires across the middle. He's taken down at the 14-yard line. First down. He's scrambling. And he's taken down at about the seven yard line. That'll bring up second and two. Walker on the handoff. Nice run there. Just like a play action pass relies on the defense respecting the run, a delay relies on the defense respecting the pass. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. It's power against power right now on the field. Both teams have their jumbo sets out there. And he's tackled right around the two-yard line. And down he goes at the two. He's got the corner. Touchdown, Bulldogs! Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 12-play, 59-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Ole Miss is up a field goal. down at the 37. You know, I talked to so many college quarterbacks who have gone on to be very successful in the NFL, and they all talk about the execution of the play action. And all of them talk about the good ones, about taking their time and really working to sell the play action and sell the fake. If you don't take the time as a quarterback to really sell the fake, it's going to make it easy on the linebackers and safeties to realize that that was just a fake handoff and to get back in position. But when you really work it and sell it the way that quarterback did right there, that's when it's more effective. It can open up the big play. He's 
stays at the 40. Makes it out to about the 36. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Jones wins a tackle at the 36-yard line. That makes it second and 10. Tackle at about the 23-yard line. From the 23-yard line, first down. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. And this play is number eight on the drive. He tackles him for a loss. Ole Miss is up by three. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Boy, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. Here we go. 180. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Well, that's the fifth first down for this offense on this drive. The defense, you can look at them. Their hands are on their knees, hands are on their hips. They're looking tired. This offense right now has this defense exactly where they want it. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Hunter gained seven yards on that play. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. That makes it 33. Mike 40, Mike 40. Ready. Makes the catch and he's got nowhere to go. So they're going to try and determine exactly where the ball was when he went down. So the booth is trying to determine exactly where they'll spot the ball. After, after review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So after review, they'll change the spot of the ball and we'll play football again. on the extra point. So a 12-play, 70-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. the 30. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. It's second and five here. Ball on their own 30. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. There's 
a strike complete. He's down. That pass play went for nearly enough to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough pill to swallow. Having to leave the field knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You got to get those. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Moore fields it at the 22. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Throws in a hurry. Tackle made right around the 30. And he stops the clock with his fight. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Here we go. Here we go. The mic. <laughs> Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. <laughs> that INT puts him in a position to make this a game. Yeah, they really needed that. That's a huge boost to morale. gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Throws it in a hurry. He's hit and taken down. So the quarterback completes the slant pattern for about a nine-yard gain. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Throws it to the outside, and it's incomplete. He was the intended target on the play. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Dane to punt. He really got a hold of that one. He takes it in at the 14. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. The Rebels with a 10-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. It is my job to come in and rain on a parade. I know, every, I know everything's gone right. I know they have all the momentum. I know that every little detail of the game plan has gone exactly as scripted. But... But <laughs> overconfidence, too happy, too satisfied. How big a problem is that in the second half? But you always, you always have the excitement coming into the first half of a ball game, and you think it's going to be close when teams like this are evenly matched. But that doesn't mean you can lose your edge. That doesn't mean you can get complacent. A lot of times we see passion and energy in the first half, and it starts to wither away. they got to make sure that they keep the energy up, continue to make plays, don't think that, you've, that you're there because we've seen momentum switch like that. As soon as somebody flips a switch, it's hard to get it going back in the other direction. So you got to take advantage of these opportunities. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. He's got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 27. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. They 
They give to the tailback, and he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. That misdirection play gets maybe a yard at the most. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Tackles him hard at the 27-yard line. Brad, not only did they give up the sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, or especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Brown awaits the snap. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. That makes it second and two. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Throws this one out to the right. And he's immediately tackled. Has it to the senior. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. Scrambling around, and they got him. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Second down and 11. Ball on the 26. There's a strike complete. He's tackled at the 23. the catch and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Taken back three yards. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. It has the distance. And he splits the uprights. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 17-10, Ole Miss. Mississippi State gets set to kick this one away. Taken from the three-yard line. Brought down at the 24. Ole Miss, this offense was rolling along earlier, and now they have gone ice cold in the third quarter. Brad, they almost look like a different team. It's like they've come out of the locker room a little bit flat here in the second half. We'll see if they can have something happen, something to spark them and maybe get their mojo going before they end up losing this ball game. Ole Miss is up by a touchdown. Quick throw, and they make the stop around the 37-yard line. Slings it. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. He's on the run. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. Taken down at about the 25-yard line. Call it a game of two yards. Hey, pick your game that makes it second and eight. 
Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Passes it to the middle of the field. And he's taken down at the 18-yard line. So it's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Ole Miss is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And they push him out right around the 28-yard line. Got it and brought down immediately. And down he goes to the 37-yard line. I think he just barely got it. That's a great job by both the quarterback and receiver to keep this drive alive. And he's tackled around the 46-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Got it. And he goes down quickly. So they get about four yards from play action. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 42. Brought down at about the 31. This is the eighth play of this drive. He just gets rid of it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 31. The Bulldogs had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. And here's a quick throw. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Check three, check three. That makes it first and goal. Looks left, finding his tailback. Tackle at the 10-yard line. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. 20-10, Ole Miss. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. It's our time. It's our time. Tackle made around the six yard line. Diving for extra yardage. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Mississippi. 
Mississippi State. That is great tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. He makes the PAT. Mississippi State ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Ole Miss is up a field goal. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Got it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. That's a two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he hits him hard at the 44-yard line. Moore picks him up six yards with a catch. That'll make it fourth and six. From the 15, he's knocked out of bounds at the 31. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Just throws this one away. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 31. Dumps it complete over the middle. And he's level at the 40. Gain of nine on the play. That'll make it third and long. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Gain of six on the play. First down. Throws a bullet over the middle. He's tackled around the 48-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Just under three to go in regulation. And they make the stop at the 35-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Quick pass. They'll bring him down at the 21-yard line. Again with the run. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. This is the eighth play of the drive. Witherspoon gets the carry. Makes it to the 11. That's good for a game of eight yards. That'll bring up third and inches. He's on the run. Decides to slide. That's a game of six on the play. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown! 
touchdown, and that gives them the lead. Looks like they didn't get the playoff quick enough. Delayed game, offense. Just under two minutes in the game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. Well, this is what everybody works on. This is the two-minute drill. This quarterback yesterday, watching him in practice, was on fire, making throw after throw after throw. In fact, I don't think he missed. So let's see if that can transfer over to the game and see if he can execute here to try to get him down to a touchdown. Gain two yards. And this is not good news. This is a very serious injury. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Let's it fly. And he went way up, and he's got the interception. And he is drilled at the 40-yard line. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. He's at midfield, makes it out to about the 49. I think the defense is starting to be concerned about the outcome of this game. That was a huge first down by the offense, and at this point, you wonder if the defense can make a play to get their own offense back out on the field. Makes it to the 41. A gain of eight on the carry. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He's at the 30. He makes his way to about the 22. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. From the 24-yard line, second down. He fights forward to about the 23. Two 
and the ball game's over. The Bulldogs get the win. 24-20. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? Mississippi State came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.